Twins are a biological wonder, a rare genetic phenomenon who share a special connection. This week, we investigated what it's really like to be a twin and what telepathic connections twins may possess. We sat down with fraternal twins Bridget and Natalie Golder Slough and Jay Ho and Jay Yu Chung to find out the best and worst parts of always being together. I think one of the nicest things is that since we're the same age, we get to play on the same soccer team. And that's been really nice because we've been playing together for so long that I feel like I know what she's going to do when she has a ball. So I like to think that we have an edge over some of the other competitors. Uh, I mean, this is a little difficult because I've never entirely considered ourselves to be completely twins. So I feel like twin has this very like specific connotation. Like, like uh, both of them are always trying to be different from each other, have this problem being the same. Yeah, but we're, I feel, we're yeah. just kind of different in general. Yeah, we just seem like brothers are born on the same day. With that being said, I think twins have something special. You know, being born on the same day gives us a certain link. I feel like it probably would change our dynamics if we knew he was older. I feel like any fight, we would just be like, oh, I get the bigger slice of cake because I'm older. Yeah. And right so. now, I always just pull the I'm taller card. So that works some of the time. That uh, rarely works, actually. <laughs> it definitely would change the dynamic. I would probably be more like goofy. I won't be as serious or responsible things like that, you know? I won't do my chores if I were the younger brother, but... Well, like Natalie said, we're always together, so sometimes that can be a little annoying, but for the most part, she's okay. I would say the best part is having a twin, right? A twin brother, so, like Jay, you said. But the worst part is also having a twin brother yeah. at the same time. And also, you know, hearing his voices in my head, like, constantly. Yeah, that can, can be sometimes really annoying. get a little annoying. Gets really bad when I try to play squash too. It's like, hit the ball harder, and like, okay. I certainly wouldn't be the same person if he weren't born, because, uh, you know, I'd actually be happy. To explore what it's like as an identical twin, sharing 100% of your genetic material with your sibling, we sat down with NHS juniors, Brendan and Liam McBride. Yeah, I think the best part about being a twin is just that, like, just guaranteed best friend. Sometimes if I'm arguing with other people, and Liam and I, I have, them, I call Liam. them. Oh no, no I, I call, no, I call, them, I call them Liam. Yeah, and it's really bad. It's, it's. Yeah. I feel like there's a bigger like bond because we look the same, and so then like I don't know. So everyone just assumes we're the same, and so then we start thinking we're the same, <laughs> and then <laughs> sometimes we like look at each other across the room, and we both know what each other's thinking. Um, no, we, we can. No, we can have conversations yeah. all the time without even saying anything. Yeah. yeah, we pretended to be each other before. Twins, obviously, are in a unique position. But how connected are they really? We decide to put their twin telepathy to the test. I'll go with two. Two. We are family. Blue. Uh, green. Um, I guess I'll go triangle. I have to go circle. Oh, you crossed out the triangle. No, he circled it. He wants the triangle. Wait, I'm looking I think this is going to be the same for both of us. Yeah, I think we're going to write the same thing. Okay. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Germany! I don't think you're going to get this. Uh, uh. Two, one. Evidently, there is a wide range of telepathic connections. Nonetheless, everyone agreed that being a twin gives you both a sibling and a built-in best friend. Once again, I'm Seraphina Foreman. And I'm Willis Sipple. Thanks, Thanks for watching! watching.